Recently, we saw the release of Gemini 2.5 Pro, and since then, it has been receiving regular monthly updates, with major improvements rolling out across the board, from coding to math to advanced agenda capabilities. The Gemini 2.5 Pro continues to excel even when it's compared to top proprietary models from OpenAI, as well as Anthropic's Cloud 4 Opus, and even the DeepSeek R1, while being relatively cheap in comparison to many of these other models. Sundar Pichai, the CEO of Google, also even mentioned that the model has made significant improvements in both the style and structure of its responses, which directly enhances the quality and reasoning abilities of any AI agent powered by Gemini. And on top of that, during the recent Google I.O. developer conference, Google announced an entire fleet of upgrades to the Gemini 2.5 model series, including the release of Gemini 2.5 Flash, the new OpenWay Gemma 3 models, and much more. The Gemini 2.5 model series is specifically designed for agentic AI workflows, powering AI agents to handle everything from advanced coding to high speed performance on complex tasks. It's not only highly capable, but also it is cost efficient with support for large context windows that enable much deeper reasoning and long-term memory. And on top of that, its multimodal support is going to make it super versatile and it's going to be able to help you for a wide range of real world applications. So think about it. Imagine if you power your AI agent with such a versatile model, you're going to be able to do almost anything. But the problem is many people do not know how to create these agents, which is why today I'm going to be showcasing how you can build any sort of agent powered by the Gemini 2.5 Pro. And speaking of agents, we're going to be using the vector shift platform, which has came out with the new agent protocol, which is going to be super easy for you to create any sort of agent. In this case, this is a preview of the agent tools that will be powering your agent. And this is where you can power with additional plugins and tools where you can add infused memory, knowledge, and so much more. For those who do not know what VectorShift is, it's a no-code platform to build AI-powered apps, chatbots, and automate almost any workflow. And the best part is you can easily get started completely for free. So what you can do is simply click on the get started button, which will prompt you to this page where you can either create an account with your email address, with a Google account or with GitHub, or if you already have an account, just simply log in. After you sign up or log in, you're going to be then sent over to the main dashboard of VectorShift. This is where you can manage all your pipelines, whether that's chatbots, voice bots, and so much more. You can manage them individually within all of these different tabs. But what we're going to be taking a look at today is agents, which is a way for you to easily create these various types of agents for different use cases. And essentially, these are different agents that could be powered by a powerful model like the Gemini 2.0 series, 2.5 series. And essentially, it is something that can autonomously tackle any sort of task. So let's just name this a test agent and let's create it. This is a simplified way for you to create agents that could be configured with tools, with large language model configurations and with basic configs. This is where you can add various inputs and outputs within this dashboard. You can get the agent an instruction, like you can answer basic questions or assist with tasks within your capabilities. You can select various large language models. You can even have it so that there is multiple large language models that can tackle different sorts of tasks, like a planning agent or a validator agent. You also have tools in which you can assign different sorts of tools, like query a knowledge base, you can assign pipelines and there's actually so many others where you can work with like integrations that could be used with the agent's capabilities. For example, say if I want to add in a knowledge base, this is where it could reference a large knowledge base and then have it so that it could be configured to respond to different sorts of emails with the Gmail node. And this way, using the query knowledge base, it's able to respond better with the Gmail node and this way it's able to automate the process of sending emails. This is just one example of what you can do having it powered by an LM. Now what you can also do is create and run pipelines with the drag and drop builder itself. So in this case you can name it something like a blog writing pipeline and then what you can do is just simply create the new pipeline based off of this name. After it has been created what you can do is place down an input node and you can place down these different nodes that make your AI agent functional. So we can place down a knowledge base node, an input node, which I'll explain in a second. You can also place down a Google Gemini node as well to power our AI agent. 
Now, what you can do is you can either create your own knowledge base or you can edit the one that you have already, but it's super simple. You can simply provide a name and you can click on create. This will take you to this page where you can simply upload your files to feed into the knowledge base. You can also choose from different integrations. So this way you can add all of the different knowledge, a part of these different tools and integrations so that you can feed it to your AI agent easily. In this case, this is a pipeline which will output blog posts autonomously powered by the Gemini model. And all of these different nodes are different sorts of blocks that are used to create the AI agent's power. So you can see that an input node starts off by sending passages of data inwards into the workflow. And then an output node is either outputted as a chatbot, as an automation, or something else like a voice bot. Now, to connect all of this, it's super simple. We're going to have it so that the system instruction for the Gemini model is that you are an LM agent that writes outlines for blogs. Write a cohesive outline about the topic, and that topic will be inputted through this node over here. So you can simply connect this by defining the prompt, which is topic, clicking enter, and then clicking on insert variable. And this will help us connect this input node over here. Now, what you can also do is have it so that this input is going to be inputted as text. And afterwards, you can do the exact same thing for the knowledge base. And that is by defining the prompt as context and then inserting the variable for the knowledge base and having it as a chunk outputted over here. So at the start of the video, you saw the agent read it, but this is the pipeline, which is a deterministic workflow that lets you configure the ins and outs of your agent. So this is what I tend to use because it's super simple to place down these blocks. Now, for example, we have the outline created. I can just simply go over to the AI and place down another large language model node to create the actual blog post. And you can see that I can configure these things by giving it instructions, which is a little bit more intricate than the Reddit channel. And now what I've done is just simply connected this second Google node, which is going to be given the task of writing the blog about the topic, which we get from the initial input, and then the knowledge base, which it can refer to for the context and then the output of the actual outline that is generated after it gets the topic. And then you can simply have an outputted, which we'll then configure afterwards. And now we just need to simply click on deploy changes and deploy. So we have our first pipeline created to automate blog writing. Now what we can do is go back to our agent. This is where we're gonna provide it a couple of different tools. So this is our blog writing tool. And this is where you can give a description to the tool where you can say something like uh, used for writing blogs. And now what you can do is you can add different tools that can power your AI agent. And this is where you can add a query a knowledge base so that it can refer to the vector base, uh, vector shift knowledge base to provide answers about the platform itself. You can add something like uh, having it output emails so we can add this and have it so that it can send an email. We can also have it so that it could be used for URL scraping. So in this case, if we go over to like the popular tab, we can add a URL loader and this way it's able to have it so that it can scrape contents for you. So the agent is able to do this autonomously. You can also add an XI AI search so that it has the ability to search the web. And now within the basic config file, what you can do is you can add the instruction by stating that you have access to the following tools, which we just configured within this step, where we have provided web searching, URL scraping, blog writing, which is a pipeline that we created, sending emails and querying knowledge base. Now, I'm also going to add another pipeline that I'm going to create from scratch, and that is a deep research pipeline. And this is just a super simple pipeline I just created with an input as well as the Google node, which is where it's going to create a deep research report about the topic and then the output. And then I can just simply click on deploy changes and click deploy. And then I can head back into my agent. And now what I've done is within the basic configurations, I added the deep research pipeline and you can see within the tools, it has also been given this tool description. And now to test this out within the actual right hand panel, we can ask it, what is the weather like right now in Maui, Hawaii? And after running it, you're going to be able to get this output over here that as of now in Maui, Hawaii, the weather is patch rainy uh, nearby with about 78% cloud cover. So this was something that it was able to find with the web searching capabilities that we had provided to our agent. 
with Exa AI search. Now to query the knowledge base, I can ask it what is vector shift because the knowledge base I had created is on vector shift where I scraped contents of the docs of vector shift and now it's going to provide me an answer on it. And there you go. Just like that, it has provided me an end to end uh, answer on what vector shift is. Now I can do something like this where I can request it send in the world of AI an email on what vector shift is. And within a couple of seconds, it's going to query and use the tool that we have to send uh, an email using the Gmail node. And there we go. Just like that, we have gotten this email. What is vector shift? And it gives you a good idea on it. And this was all thanks to the agent that we've created powered by the Gemini 2.5. Now, to leverage this agent that we have created with so many different tools, what we can now do is just simply go back into the pipeline tab and we can create a new pipeline from scratch. And this is where I can place down an input node and I can also place down an output node. And what I just need to do is simply go over to objects and place down an agent. This is where I want to select the test agent that we've just created. And after connecting these, I can simply click on deploy changes. And now I can test this out and say, Write me an email on a detailed report on what vector shift is. And then I can click on run and it's going to take its time to process through the test agent. Not too much time, but then it's going to send it over to my email. And just like that, we have our detailed research report that the Gemini model was capable of generating and it has been sent over to our email. And it did a pretty good job in doing this in talking about what vector shift is. And all of this was fully powered by the memory, knowledge, as well as additional tools that we had provided to our agent. And guys, you also have the ability to export your interface, your agent interface as a chatbot, a forum, a bulk job, or even an API. In this case, we can make this into a test chatbot. We can create this chatbot, we can customize it, and then we can export it as a link. You can even embed it within Twitter as well as within WhatsApp. And now I can open up this chatbot and I can ask directly to my agent anything so i can say like what is the weather like in new york and you can see that it's going to be able to process and send in a request within this interface itself and there you go as of june 11 it is talking about what the weather is right now so this is exceptional in terms of how easy it is to create any sort of large language model agent that is powered by the gemini 2.5 pro and with additional tools and whatnot. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I highly recommend that you take a look at this because it's the easiest way to build any sort of AI agent and automation. So get started for free with the links in the description below. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to the second channel. Join our newsletter. Join our Discord. Follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. Like this video. And please take a look at our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.